Welcome to Tantrum House Studio D. I'm Kevin Delp, AEG published Space Space, which is a pretty big hit, and recently they released an expansion called The Emergence of Shy Pluto, and now coming soon is The Command Station. Let's look at all of this in today's video. Space Space from AEG, as it says on the box, is an intergalactic dice game of fleet management for 2 to 5 players. I mean, 2 to 5 Space Space Commodores. And the command station takes it all the way up to 7 players. Let's do a quick overview of the base game, and then we'll jump into the new content. All players have their own player board with starting ships. Throughout the game, players will be rolling dice to activate their cards. For instance, if you roll a 5 and 6, you can either activate the 11 or the 5 and 6. On other people's turns, you'll activate cards that are tucked into your player board when they roll those numbers. The way you can tuck cards is to purchase new cards from the shipyard. You'll deploy the new ship in the correct sector and then place the old one under your player board. Throughout the game, you'll have to manage your credits and income and of course try to gain victory points along the way. The game is super satisfying when you've built a sector with lots of cards and that number is rolled, or even when a high number is rolled, usually those cards are more rewarding. Now I'm going to take a few minutes and talk about the Shy Pluto expansion. This is a campaign style game so there's a lot of hidden stuff that I'm going to be revealing. So if you don't want to be spoiled, I'll put a, a timestamp in the description of this video um, so you can pick up where I uh, finish talking about Shy Pluto. But if you want to be spoiled, then continue watching as I talk about the Shy Pluto expansion. Shy Pluto comes with a story deck of cards and a discovery deck. There are also two mystery boxes. As I said earlier, Shy Pluto brings a campaign style to the game. Um, as you progress through the story, you'll be unlocking new cards and modules that you'll be adding to your game. Some things you'll notice right away are the addition of a lightning icon for charging. Arrows let you gain rewards on spaces 1 and 2 away, and variable sector cards that let you place the card in that sector or higher. The rulebook does a great job telling you when to stop and start again for the rules and story. And just a warning again that I'm going to keep going and spoil more stuff. Two of my favorite new types of cards are the bonus rolls that let you roll the dice like you were the active player and gain the rewards, and no one else can use the results shown. The other is the diagonal arrows. They let you choose deployed rewards to the sector to the left or right, and when deployed you can gain the blue station rewards. Eventually you'll come to the World Eater. It also comes with ways to gain patrol ships on the cards. When it attacks, it makes you roll these red dice, and any icons that show, you can either gain what is rolled or lose what is rolled. You have to spend a patrol ship to gain those rewards. You're trying to defeat the World Eater by spending the patrol tokens. I'll leave this last mystery box unopened for you to find out what is inside. Now let's talk about the upcoming Space Space Command Station that lets you take the game all the way up to 6 and 7 players. The first thing you'll notice is that it comes with sleeves to sleeve all your cards. And now you have 7 pairs of dice so each player can have a set, and they look really cool. Of course, there are two more player boards and sets of starting ships too. There are special pre-deployment cards that you can use for a 6 and 7 player game. They go in sectors 7 and 8, and need 3 charge cubes to activate. Once activated, you can use it to do a bonus roll, or you can look at the top two cards of any ship deck, buy one if you can, and put the rest on the bottom. And you only have to spend the exact cost, which is pretty cool. And one of the best things that comes with this game is the new light speed variant. Each player starts with 15 coins and an income, draws 4 level 1 cards and 2 level 2. They can spend their credits to place these new ships in their command consoles. You get to keep any unused credits, but do have to discard any cards you don't buy. Then look at the rules for starting resources to start the game. 
I love, 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 love the light speed variant. Um, now, I know the rules say just to play it with six or seven players. I've actually played it with four players and I've had a blast. It really helps ramp up the gameplay a lot faster. Another thing I didn't mention yet is that all the components from Space Base can now fit in the new command station box, which is super helpful. I'm a big fan of Space Base. I like the complexity. I like that you're doing something on everyone's turn. Well, hopefully on everyone's turn as long as they're rolling the right numbers. Uh, I like the new colored dice that comes in Command Station, and of course that it goes all the way up to seven players. AEG also supported our Kickstarter campaign a few months ago with new Space Base promos. We may even have some left if you want to purchase a set. You can email Sarah at S-A-R-A at tantrumhouse.com. If you already own Space Base, then I highly recommend getting Shy Pluto and the command station that's coming out soon. If you've never played it, I'd highly recommend getting Space Base. So run out to your friendly local game store and pick up a copy. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and we would love for you to subscribe to Tantrum House.